Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's a little chilly out today. Um, <clears throat> I was up all night with uh, my dog. And uh, she was having uh, wet poop. <laughs> so, um, it was kind of a long night, a little chilly cold out today and I was hoping for it to be like a productive day um, and I really need to get back to work so I put a transfer in like a month ago to go back to work at Longhorn and I drove all the way here which was about an hour and a half away from where I'm from um, to come back to work and then today I finally get a hold of the manager <clears throat> to tell him, like, hey, I'm here ready to work for my transfer. And he tells me that instead of putting a transfer in, my old manager terminated me from the system. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> setback after setback, and when you're living in a van and you have $50 to your name, you need to work. <laughs> so, that was a little bit of a disappointment. And he did say that I could come in tomorrow and do paperwork and all that stuff. But, um, back home, which is an hour and a half away from here, where my dad lives, where I lived for the last 15 years, um, I have a job that I worked at for six years and everybody I know works there and, um, everybody was like, come back, come back. So, I just decided to call and say, hey. I want to come back. <laughs> so, the Williamsburg thing, it's beautiful here. It's historical. It's just, it has good energy, good vibes, and it's just really pretty. And I love it. But maybe I need to be where I can work, and I know people, and I have family. And my gym that I shower at is right there. Everything is just right there in one spot. So it's kind of like convenient. I know everybody. I know where everything is. And I guess Williamsburg is just one of those places where if I have a couple days off, I can drive here and hang out and, and do whatever I want. I don't necessarily have to live here because I kind of feel like I'm out of my element. Um, I don't know where I am. I'm just parked somewhere. I don't know anybody. If I start a new job, I don't know any of those people. Um, so it just kind of makes sense. So I'm going to go back to my old job. Um, and I know that job very well. I've been there. I was with them for six years. So, um, And then another good thing about it is I was stressed out so bad about being going to work. And my dog being stuck in the car for four to ten hours at a time while I was at work. Um, but now I don't have to worry about that so much because if I'm going to work a long shift, my dad's right there. I can bring my dog to his house and he'll watch her and I can just pick her up after work. So I have a dog sitter. So everything happens for a reason. In my eyes, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason when it's supposed to happen. So yes, I was a little bummed today. But now I feel a lot better about the situation because I just feel like, you know, I can have the best of both worlds. I can have a couple of days off and I can drive here and I can and, and spend time here. <laughs> so that's a plus. Um, so I think today we're going to go to Colonial Williamsburg, um, which is a really cool place. So I'm going to take you guys with us today into Colonial Williamsburg. To good old Colonial Williamsburg. <laughs> Very cool here. All the old buildings.
and we're in Merchant Square. This is a famous restaurant called The Trellis. My said that I actually worked there when I was growing up. And this is part of the William and Mary campus. Very pretty. Okay, now we're heading to the sunken garden. <laughs> oh, this guy here. What's up? You single? They're out here shooting the cannons off. You guys hear them? They just shot off like 10 and we missed it. <laughs> Sorry guys. I think we caught one in there. There's another one. So over here in the first part that we walked to is where they, um, people here in Colonial Williamsburg, they, they dress up like the old time uh, colonial people. And they basically reenact the colonial times. So they do shoot off the cannons and they have the horse carriages and stuff like that. So it's really freaking cool. And then you have all the old buildings. But I just wanted you guys to hear the cannon. A good time on our walk. And it was pretty chilly. But somebody's not feeling good today. So I think we're going to hang out for a little bit. And then maybe we'll go to our other park and go on a walk again. But it's really windy and chilly out today. So, I don't know. Just laying here, soaking up some sun. It feels pretty good. Not much else to do, but be lazy today. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. And I'll add a bunch of pictures at the end here of our little adventure into the colonial times. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Enjoy!